What's going on YouTube? Just thought I'd take you guys through my most uh, recent tool pickup. I've actually had this for a few months. I just haven't gotten around to, uh, to using it, but this is the Harbor Freight's uh, Snow Foam Cannon uh, that you, you can actually pick up via 25% off coupon, um, I think until today, if I end up uploading this. But it's, it's during the 25% off Memorial Day sale. Uh, I just thought I'd give this a try. Um, this was the previous foam cannon that I was using. Uh, I purchased it off of Amazon maybe three or four years ago. Uh, but I thought I'd see if this was a definitive upgrade. Um, the build quality is overall, I haven't sprayed it yet, uh, but it, it's been good. Uh, it's sturdy. Um, there's nothing that rattles or that's loose. The knob on top feels really, really stout. Uh, but yeah, so I'm not going to take you guys through the entire car wash because uh, it gets pretty lengthy and I don't want to get my camera wet and all that other stuff. But uh, obviously, just I'll explain uh, what I'm doing. And I figured today's a really nice day out. It's, I don't know if you can see that, it's 68 where I'm at. Uh, so perfect time, not too hot to wash your car, but nonetheless, two bucket method. Just your Home Depot Ryobi Electric Power Washer Special, 1900 PSI. Um, then I usually, for maintenance washes, which is what I'm doing today, I finish off with the 303 on my tires with the Adams foam applicator. And then I have uh, the Meguiar Synthetic Spray Wax that I use as a drying agent. I have my old foam cannon mounted up here so I can just do a quick comparison between the Harbor Freight and this Amazon Special. Uh, let's go ahead and loosen the knob. That's all the way tight. I'm going to go three quarters of a turn there and let's hit the truck and see what it's like. Oh, and uh, this soap is the same soap that you saw in the Harbor Freight uh, foam cannon that I started the video out with. I just literally poured it into this bottle and uh, same so we keep the same dilution here so by my own estimations I would venture to say that it is a bit watery but as soon as it does settle down, you still get some foam, but let's let's keep in mind the uh, foam that's puddling down on the side of the car. Okay, and then uh, let's try this out with, we'll tighten it all the way back up, and let's just go a quarter of a turn. This should give us more foam. And you know, one thing I didn't notice too, is when it sprays out, it's definitely more top heavy in terms of like how the foam fans out as it sprays. A lot of it comes out of the top and you don't get a lot in the middle and there's maybe a little bit more uh, on the bottom part of it. So let's see if I can show you guys. What's going on. So that was a quarter of a turn. Let's go ahead and try the Harbor Freight foam cannon. This is what it looks like being set up. I got the quick disconnects and this is just your generic Amazon uh, short handle pressure washer nozzle here. And uh, I've loosened the knob up let's see so that's all the way tight and i'm just gonna go three quarters of a turn over let's see what this looks like so 
So coverage is really good, really sudsy. Um, this is uh, the Max Suds 2 by Chemical Guy soap that I do have diluted down. I had it filled up to maybe like where the bottle curves here and the rest of it was water uh, or you know three quarters of it was water but this looks pretty good. Let me give, give it one more spray. I'm gonna loosen the the nozzle or I'm gonna actually tighten it a little bit. Let's see if we can get a little bit more foam out of it. That's all the way tight here. Let's just go a quarter of a turn. Yeah, definite sound difference between the three quarter of a turn with the knob and the quarter of a turn. The quarter of a turn allows you for way more sudsy soap. Uh, you can just hear it dripping off of the car, hitting my driveway here. And uh, yeah, if you have a really, really dirty and dusty car, definitely use a quarter turn. Uh, but I just imagine myself, especially during maintenance, maintenance washes, um, loosening this thing up because there's just no need for that thick of phone but overall pretty happy with this thing um, yeah but would I recommend buying the Harbor Freight as a first-time foam cannon user for anyone who's looking to just quicken up their uh, car washing process at home um, yes, I would highly recommend this. Uh, in my personal opinion, this foamed a lot better than the Amazon Special uh, Foam Cannon. And, you know, the price difference after I got this one 25% off, it's less than $10, so it's, so it's marginal, right, uh, between the two. So, yeah, moving forward, I will be using this. Very happy with it. It's very sturdy and stout. Uh, when you press on the bottle, you know, you can't dent it, whereas this one, you can. Um, so I feel a lot safer if this was to drop off a shelf or slip out of my hand while I'm washing my car. Uh, I think that it would survive on impact and I wouldn't have to necessarily worry about it. And, excuse me, I had to put down the other foam cannon but this is a lot more precise this adjustment there is some resistance as you turn it either way uh, versus the Amazon special where it almost feels grindy I don't know if you can hear that on camera but yeah so let me put this down picking up the Harbor Freight foam cannon Yes, if you can get this thing 25% off, even better. But um, if you're looking to have your car clean all through summer and you want to use a foam cannon, especially if it's your first setup, a budget setup like mine, go and get this. All right, thanks YouTube. See you on the next one.